The Victor Atta International Airport, formerly known as Akwa Ibom International Airport, is located in Uyo, the capital city of Akwa Ibom State in Nigeria. The airport is located approximately 28 kilometers away from Uyo, the capital city of Akwa Ibom State. The distance translates to approximately a 30 minute drive. It serves as a key transportation hub offering daily flight to and from various destinations. The airport is designed to undo larger aircraft operations including Boeing 787 and A380 aircraft. It was renamed in the honor of former Aqua Ibom State Governor Obom Victor Atta in November 2018. So that means uh, it used to be Aqua Ibom International Airport and was renamed um, after the former governor. The airport is served by airlines such as Ibom Air, which operates flights to destinations within Nigeria and Ghana. Well, the Ghana uh, flight uh, goes from uh, Lagos um, to, and then the Ibom Air um, operate a flight um, which include uh, Abuja, uh, Calabar, Enugum, Lagos, and Port Harcourt. The Obom Victor Akta International Airport, which is also Aqua Ibom International Airport, boasts a runway size comparable to other major airports in Nigeria in terms of length, making it capable of handling large aircraft. Aqua Ibom International Airport wasn't always the gleaming hair hub it is today. Imagine not so long ago where fields of cassava plant yielded to a vision of flight. In 2006, construction began on a projected fuel by ambition and a desire to connect Aquaibom to the world. Three years later, a phoenix arose from the heart, the first phase complete, a single terminal booming with an excitement of its inaugural flight in 2009. This humble start was just the beginning. Driven by a spirit of expansion, a second phase took flight in 2012, adding international terminals, maintenance facilities, and a web of taxiways. Today, Aquaibom International Airport, which is also known as Victor Atta International Airport, it stands as a statement to human ingenuity, its slick lines and bustling hall echoing with the sound of diverse languages and the stories of countless journey. It's a far cry from this Kazava field, now a regional powerhouse, linking not just cities within Nigeria, but destinations across the globe. I say that because there are also um, chartered flights that are available um, via this particular airport. The airport has planned for future expansion, including the addition of more destinations and the construction of cargo terminal, an international passenger terminal building, and an airport hotel. What are the facilities at this particular airport? The terminal building, of course, it opened in 2009 to cater to flight at the airport. The terminal has check-in facilities and ticketing section for departing passengers. It is also equipped with full body scanners and departure lounge. The parting passengers at the lounge can relax at the light restaurant on the boarding is announced. The terminal has a baggage claiming facility for arriving passengers, passenger control, of course, and customs are also available um, for international flights. So that's yeah, the custom um, to mainly serve for uh, served the international uh, flight. So the terminal uh, serves um, a variety of the airlines that operate uh, from that particular airport. Let's talk about the impact of this airport to the local community. There was a research conducted by Morufo Raimi, who investigates the contribution of the Obong Victor Atta International Airport to the social and economic fabric of host communities in Uria, Okobo, and the other local government around that area. The study aimed at understanding the impact of the airport on the well-being of the local populace, particularly focuses on employment as a key parameter for measurement, utilizing a systematic sampling technique and 
Ease of paying 400 respondents, the research reveals that 10% and 13% of the total employment in the years 2013 and 2017 respectively were sourced from the host communities. However, the study concludes that the Open Victoria International Airport might not be the predominant factor influencing the employment dynamics in the area. In light of these findings, the research recommends the government effort to create additional employment opportunities for the host communities. Furthermore, it suggests the expansion of the nature-based tourism industry as a strategic avenue for fostering not only employment, and income growth but also environmental sustainability, thereby enhancing the overall socio-economic well-being of the study communities in the Aqua Ibom State. Victor Atta International Airport is more than just steel and concrete, it stands as a beacon of hope, a testament to the transformative power of connection and a soaring symbol of regional reach ever higher into the embrace of a globalized future. So this report definitely we have um, the tourism industry of the state and the region. And also we provide um, more uh, opportunity in terms of employment for the people around that particular area. So on a positive note, I will hand to say that this airport hope they can continue to maintain it and they can continue to improve it as well and provide more facility that will make it to continue to attain the international status. Hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching and God bless.